Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss uh, how to apply Prim's algorithm to find minimum spanning tree for a given graph. This is the solved example number one. The link for other solved examples is given in the description below. Prim's algorithm is a famous uh, greedy algorithm. It is used to find the minimum spanning tree for a given graph, but the graph should be weighted connected and undirected graph if the graph is weighted connected and undirected we can uh, find the minimum spanning tree using prim's algorithm now uh, we will take uh, this example to understand uh, how to draw the minimum spanning tree in this uh, graph we have uh, seven nodes and uh, it is uh, undirected connected uh, graph here in Prim's algorithm, what we do is uh, we will scan this particular uh, graph initially and then uh, we will try to find uh, one edge which is having the minimum uh, weight here. Now, if you see this particular thing, the edge between 1 and 6 is having uh, the weight 10, which is the smallest among all these things. So, what we do is uh, we will start constructing the spanning tree by considering this particular edge. So, that is uh, 6 here and then 1 over here, the weight between these two is 10 in this case. Next, what we do is uh, we will try to identify the neighbors of this particular uh, 1 and 6. The one which is having the minimum weight that we consider. The neighbor of uh, 1 is uh, 2 and the weight is 28. The neighbor of 6 is uh, 5, the weight is 25. So, this is the smallest one. So, we consider this one. So, we will draw an edge here from uh, 6 to 5 and the weight in this case is 25 here. Now, the neighbors of all 3 we have to consider. The neighbor of uh, 6, both of them were considered, so there is no question of uh, these two things. The neighbor of uh, 1 is uh, 2 again and uh, the weight is uh, 28. The neighbor of 5 is uh, 4 as well as uh, 7. But the weight with respect to this one is small. So, we consider this one and uh, we will draw this particular thing here. That is 4 and then I will draw an edge here. The weight is 22. Now, again, we will consider the the neighbors when i consider the neighbors uh, the neighbor of 5 is 7 that is remaining the neighbor of uh, 4 is 3 and the neighbor of uh, 1 is uh, 2 between these things i think uh, the neighbor with respect to two, uh, this one this neighbor of 4 is 3 which is having the minimum weight so we consider this thing from here to here we will draw an edge and then the weight in this case is 12 here again we will try to find the neighbors uh, if I follow the same process, I think uh, uh, if I consider this particular thing, uh, 1 is I think it is 28, that is a uh, big number, 5 it is 24, 4 it is 18, that is the one thing remaining. With respect to, to 3, 16 is remaining, I think this is the smallest one. So, we will draw an edge here, that is uh, from 3 to 2, the distance or the weight is uh, 16 in this case. Finally, we have to consider the neighbors of all these particular things and uh, among these things, I think this is the smallest one. That is uh, 14 is the smallest one between 2 and 7. So, between 2 and 7, we will draw an edge here and then we will write 14 here. So, this is the minimum spanning tree for this particular graph. Next, what we need to do is uh, we need to find the total weight of this particular minimum spanning tree that I can calculate by something like this total weight which is equal to addition of all these particular weights that is uh, 25 plus 22 plus 12 plus 16 plus uh, 14 and then plus 10 here finally and if I add all these things I will get uh, 99 units in this case. So, this is a very simple process here uh, with which uh, we will be able to find the minimum spanning tree for a given graph as well as uh, we can find the total weight of the minimum spanning tree in this case. I hope this particular concept is uh, quite clear. If you have any issues, you can uh, put those particular issues in the comment box. I will try to answer those particular questions as early as possible. If you like the video, do like and uh, share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.